Elon Musk company rolling out the futuristic electric pickup. The Cybertruck is coming in the U.S. Arguably the most anticipated and controversial pickup truck today. Tesla says they're going to roll out 250,000 of these uh, trucks. A Tesla Cybertruck was spotted on the road in Northern California. The heavily anticipated Cybertruck. 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 The Cybertruck. Cybertruck. Cybertruck is actually coming this year it seems anyways with new leaks happening all the time me being the numbers guy the one that likes to take a stab and guess at things and i feel like we've done pretty good here on the channel guessing the model 3 production ramp the cost of things and all that so we've got a lot of experience doing this and i wanted to just take a look and see if i could guess maybe with some better accuracy than just figure to the wind of how much a Tesla Cybertruck is actually gonna cost you each month. Let's go. Okay, well, rewind the clock to when the Cybertruck was first released. There were three versions of it. I was one of the few that was lucky enough to be at the event and ride in it. So thank you, Tesla, again, for inviting me. That was such a cool experience. Now, back then we had the single motor, the dual motor, and the tri-motor. And the prices were 39,900, 40,000, 49,900, 50,000, or 69.9, 70,000. Now that high-end one has since been modified or canceled, I believe, to be just a quad motor. Now that one, they report 500 miles of range, which would absolutely be bonkers. In real world, you'd probably be getting in the mid 400s, although it is extremely aerodynamic. That's one thing that Tesla has always been actually very good about estimating prices, delivery, timelines, everything else, uh, not as much. But that I think might be later on. I think the initial one that they're going to come out with is the dual motor all-wheel drive. So let's focus on that one. The price listed is $49.9 and me and Elon and a lot of other people out there really don't think that that's going to be the price when it comes out. But let's just go with it and assume that you can get a dual motor all-wheel drive 300 plus mile Tesla Cybertruck for $49.9, just under $50,000. How much would that actually cost you per month? So the first part of this, of course, is that monthly loan. So if you're going to get a loan for this, which most people probably will, right now interest rates, at least where I live, are right around 5.75%. If you put $5,000 down and you get the federal and potentially state rebates here in California anyways, totaling about $9,500, you're looking at a monthly payment for that loan of $766 which honestly for this vehicle, for what it's capable of and all that, I don't think that's a bad deal. I think that's a really good price. Again, if you can get it for that $50,000 initial price tag. And if you are getting a Cybertruck, you're gonna wanna keep it clean. And that's where today's sponsor comes in, Phasis. They have this awesome vacuum cleaner here. It's a car vacuum cleaner meant to be kept in your car. It plugs in and charges via USB-C on the bottom. I've been using this for a few months now and I absolutely love it. It's really convenient, especially if you have kids like I do that are always making messes in the car. This thing just stays in my center console on the Rivian, always plugged in, ready to go. When I need to use it, I can just hit the power button and it has two different speeds. I'll do it now and you can tell how powerful it is. Can you hear that? Let me get the mic closer. That's speed one. Speed two, like you can see. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Um, so this is the Basis A3 Lite car vacuum cleaner. Like I said, I've had it for a few months and it's been incredible. It's really good just for cleaning up quick little messes. That way you don't have to like go through and drag the vacuum cleaner out or whatever. I've had a car vacuum cleaner for a long time now. And when they sent this one, it is by far the best one that I've tested out. So it comes with a couple different attachments here that can kind of give you different looks. It also can, um, there's one on the bottom where it can blow things out. And like I said, it's just nice. It fits inside. So it's always charged and ready to go. When it is time to clean it, you just simply pop that off. The little filter is right here and it just comes out like so, and you're good to go. So I love how simple and easy and beautiful this is. And Basis is going to hook you up for being a subscriber here on the channel. Check the link in the description down below and keep that car clean, guys. You really owe it to these automakers for these fine things that we have that we're driving around. So anyways, check out the link in the description and thanks, Basis, for sponsoring this episode. Let's get back to the video. Then you have your insurance costs, which I'm using Edmunds True Cost of Ownership Calculator, which I've seen to be very accurate over time. And it's looking at the Model X. I'm just assuming it's going to be the same price as the Cybertruck. Might be more, might be less, but let's use a number out there. 
and we're looking at $184.90 per month. So adding up. Then we have charging. And this is a big question because how efficient is the Tesla Cybertruck really? How heavy is it? How much torque is it? You know you're going to not just baby it and drive like a granny in that thing. Look at that thing. Come on. So we're anywhere. This is a, a variable, a big variable rate, depending on where you live, depending on how you drive, etc. I'm trying to be as realistic as I can. I'm assuming that you're going to spend about $600 a year charging this thing. And that may seem low, but there is some logic to it because a lot of states, California being the leader here, have these rates called time of use pricing, where it's cheaper to charge at different times of the day. And right now, where I live in San Diego, it's one of the most expensive places for electricity in the nation or the continental US. And it is 15 cents per kilowatt hour during that super off peak time. If you add in solar panels and batteries at my old place, we could get that down to three cents per kilowatt hour. That is Texas crude prices. This doesn't get cheaper anywhere in the US. So if you're able to do this kind of jujitsu, which you're a smart person, I know you are, you're buying a Tesla Cybertruck, good for you. I think you'll be able to pull that off. So if you are, I'm looking at about $50 per month in charging. Of course, that can vary, but let's go with that as our estimate there. Then you have repairs and maintenance. Now, this will be under warranty and it's bulletproof. So how could there be any repairs? The one thing I put here that I think is fair and anyone that owns an EV or a Tesla specifically knows is that these things just absolutely tear through tires. Check out my video I did recently on the new EV tires from Bridgestone, which are awesome. So if we need to replace the tires just once in five years, we're probably looking north of $2,000. So if you spread that out across the five years, you're looking at $400 a year or $33.33 .33 per month. That gives you a total per month of everything that I'm estimating you'll pay for the Tesla Cybertruck at $1,034.23. But if you want to be more realistic about it, let's say that that dual motor version comes in at $60,000. You're still below the $80,000 threshold to get the tax credit, but it gives Tesla a lot more breathing room in terms of margins and everything. So if you did that, everything else being equal, you're looking at $1,241.23 again. So that may not seem like a big difference, but that is actually quite a big jump compared to the $1,000. It's a, you know, just about 20% more. So looking at that, you're getting to be a pretty expensive vehicle. And then as Edward Tufte teaches us, there's the what, and then there's always the so what. So what does this compare to? Does it compare to the Hummer EV or the Rivian or the Ford Lightning or the Silverado EV? And by the way, can we just pause and talk for a second that when Tesla announced this back in 2019, there were no EV trucks on the market. This was it. This was going to be the first one. They were going to start delivering in 2021. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. We're here now. And in, in, in theory, it's going to happen this year. Most likely, if you were a customer, not an employer or investor, maybe next year in 24 or whatever. But point being, where do we compare it? Where, where does it stand up against? I think for the cool factor and for the tech and kind of advanced nature of it, you should be looking at this compared to the Rivian. Now, some out there might say the Hummer EV is the right one and all that, but there was a recent photo leak of the Cybertruck next to a Rivian, and it's quite a bit smaller than the original prototype. The one I rode in was gigantic. It was far bigger than an F-150. Now, it looks like it's more Rivian-sized, which is sort of a mid-sized pickup, which is cool. I think it's actually a, a better size for most places anyways. And so if we're doing that, we're looking at the Rivian. I happen to have one. And if I were to price this out and do all the same math there, what we'd be looking at is $79.9 for the Rivian, the dual motor one, which is just being made right now. And you add in all the other costs and everything there, you're looking at $1,655.23. So still quite a bit more than the Cybertruck. So when it comes down to it, is Tesla making a value product here or are they making the badass knock everyone's you know socks off kind of a thing? That's usually their stance, right? When they came out with the semi-truck, they didn't go for the Amazon man, which would have been a very safe play. They went with the class eight heavy duty, I'm just gonna you know, topple an industry type vehicle. So I don't know where it's gonna fit, who's gonna buy it now that there's a lot of options out there. Think about Chevy and Ford have very compelling products. I wanna know what you think about this and whether or not you're gonna stick with it or if you've already bought or are considering something else now that you have a better sense of these prices here. And if you wanna rewind to when I actually got to ride in this and understand the hype around the vehicle, you have to go check out this video here. It's such a cool video and it shows what it was really like at that day where they unveiled it. So that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back here next time.